Hello, welcome to this video of Tomb Raider 3 glitch tutorial. Today is going to be about Nevada Desert. Short level is going to be a short video because tricks are relatively easy. So let's go. So first of all, what you want to do if you want to be slightly more efficient, you will need to press jump on forward at the first frame of a level. So basically when the globe where you choose uh, Nevada Desert level appears and you select it, you just hold a uh, jump on forward and you will be able to do this. You will be able to jump in the air. And if you aim right, you are able to do another jump here. If you are not curving right like I just did, you will stumble. Let me show you. So if you just do this without turning, you will stumble here. So be careful about that. But if you just curve a bit like this, you will be able to jump again and keep going. If you don't want to do that or if you prefer sliding or if you miss it, whatever, just slide on the slope and just jump a bit later, one or two seconds after sliding, and you will make it almost in the same time. So uh, don't worry about that, that's fine. That's just small optimization. Also, you can miss it if you are not aiming the right way. So just, yeah. If you're not feeling comfortable, just slide down and keep going. What you're going to do is we're going to sprint and... One thing important is that you're going to aim to this corner to do a corner bug. But you have to be careful because in case you miss one or two times this corner bug, you have to be careful about the birds here, which can be really annoying. So if you miss it one or two times, or if you miss something one or two times, don't hesitate killing those birds because um, they can be really annoying when you do glitches. Whatever you do... I'm just gonna save so what you do generally is just do this you do your sequence whatever you aim to this corner roughly here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna just turn 45 degree roughly and do a crotch corner bug which is relatively easy you what you just want to avoid for this one because you can die in this corner bug just want to avoid being too close like this to the corner like for example here i'm too much left and what's going to happen is that Lara is going to glitch. Well, it didn't happen here, but what can happen sometimes if you're too close to the corner and have a wrong angle? Lara will glitch, but that will happen. You will die, so just be careful. Also, uh, you can be pushed by the vulture if you are a bit slow, so be careful about that as well. If you're hesitating, not confident, you can completely save with that. It's, it's fine, don't worry. But it shouldn't happen too often. Anyway, if you are like this, I'm not sure it will even work like this. Okay, it worked. But anyway, be careful about that. Just roughly 45 degrees is just a crotch corner bug. And then this is just be careful. If you want, you can uh, have a perpetual flag console. So when you crouch forward, just before uh, getting up, you just press crouch. And you will be able to have a perpetual flag console. So what you do is you can't run straight like I just did. You have to... Do your crotch thing, do the glitch, turn a bit, and then run. So here I'm going to wait a bit because of vultures. Okay, whatever. I just need some space. So you just do your corner bug. Oops, not like this. Leave me alone. Okay, thank you. So you just do your corner bug, press the flare key, you turn like this, and then you start loose sprinting. So this is important that you turn, because if you don't turn, you will eventually do something like I just did. So, oh, you don't die from here, cool. So if you, you just crouch with a right angle, or it won't work, up, like this. And that can happen also if you are too far to the corner, that will happen. You can, if you don't glitch up, try to turn a bit and go forward because she's almost embed so just be careful about that anyway that shouldn't be too hard for you anyway because you already done some crush corner bugs so let's just go to the next one next glitch is also a crush corner bug so you just go sprinting and you want to glitch at this corner so a couple of things to know is that i'm gonna kill those vultures for good if you miss it once, there is a really high chance that vultures will 
completely push you when you try to do it second time. If at, if you miss it once and you see vultures are really close, just kill them. Or at least kill one. Or if the second is away, way, it's no problem. But just kill one because it can push you really, really easily. So this one is really easy. You just do crush corner bird. You don't want to perpetual flag cancel this one because you're going to jump in this hole right here. And in this hole, there is water, so you won't be able to emerge after the water part if you do a perpetual flag console. So just here, crouch, immediately side flip right, and go in the water, and you're pretty much it. That's pretty much it for this area, which is just to crouch corner back, which shouldn't be too hard. There is an alternate way, but this is not recommended for beginner player, and it saves only one second, so don't worry about that. So now we're gonna keep going and do a swim corner bug. First of all, we're gonna sprint there and try to go to aim at this place here. So you want to sprint and aim at this place because this is where we want to do the corner bug. If you are far, then just swim back there. So what you just do is you just roughly go here. It can be here. It can be um, can be here. It doesn't really matter as long as you're not too far or too close. So like this, that's. I'm not sure that would work actually, but let's try. And then you're gonna swim, and if you have a right angle, you will swim an old, um, an old uh, action button, and that will happen. You will glitch instantly. If you have a right angle like I just do and the right position, even that position would work. You will just swim, press swim once so she swims, and then immediately press action. And if you are too far, that will happen, and if you are too close, you won't glitch up. But if you are at the right spot, for example, right here, just swim, press... Oh, come on. Oh, maybe I forgot something. Yeah, I think I forgot something. Let me try. Yeah, yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, you have to... Sorry. You have to press action and forward. When Just after... Um, getting uh pressing the swim button so swim button forward and grab and you will automatically make it so if you don't press uh forward that can happen and yeah that's that's not good because then you have to do uh you, you will be in this situation you will be pushed off sometimes sometimes you won't be pushed up it, it's pretty random but just just do what I'm saying, you just come here, 45 degrees, swim forward plus um, grab, and you'll be able to do a running jump here. So I'm not going to enter into more detail about this, because this is the most efficient way, and easy way to do it. This is really easy, so there shouldn't be any problem. And then you're going to sprint and do a dive roll here, this is important to save some seconds because if you don't do a dive roll if you just try to sprint you will hit this slope here and you will lose a couple of time so just try to have a dive roll here so you don't slide down and that's pretty much it so also if you dive roll too late that will happen and you will lose time too but generally it's always the same you just sprint there turn a bit and then do this and you will be able to hit the slope. It doesn't really matter if you don't hit it. You're going the same way anyway. So, And this is not the most important. And then we are going to do the quop. Well, the poke. Whatever you want to call it. So this is a reverse quop. So if you're not familiar with quop, you will be now in Tomb Raider 3. So how do you do that? First, you're going to set up the quop states. So how to set up a quop state is pretty easy. So I'm going to show you this, the sequence. So the sequence is you want to climb here. You don't want to climb on the very left. Like if you climb here, this won't be good because then you need to sidestep right. But the problem is she's too close to the wall, so she won't sidestep right. So you want to climb here roughly. And then you can sidestep. It doesn't matter if you are here or if you are here. It will be the exact same position, as long as you are not here. As long as you need only one side step to make it to the wall, it will work. Like this, for example. If you do this and do this, it will be good. If you do this and this, it will be good. There is no problem about that. 
you always get the constant position if you just have to sidestep once so that's it so one side step right then you roll then you step back twice jump forward immediately again crouch to the right 40 that should give you 45 degree angle then press forward once and then you do a running jump and then you will have a co-op state so this can fail in certain conditions i guess because of a crouch and consistency and some stuff what you want to do to make it work every time that's how i did it when i started doing the, that setup i had a huge trouble because sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't work it looks really random but the best way to make it work 100 percent of the time is to do all the setup in one motion i mean like this climb immediately side step right roll step back jump immediately press crouch immediately turn 45 degree immediately forward immediately and then you're good to go and you will activate the corpse state like i just did so if you do it in one motion this will work every time also while you're doing this you want to light a flare because you're gonna you're gonna flare console after the quop so don't worry so like this so it will work every time so i'm just gonna reload because i'm out of flare i believe but yeah this is basically it um if you're not sure give me a second so you do it in one motion so what can happen here also if when you crouch if you, you press forward and sometimes if you don't press right enough that will happen she will she will move a bit but not enough she won't move 45 degree to make her move 45 degree what you need to do is really simple you need to press it you need to press right and when you see her move you stop pressing and then you will get a uh, 45 degree angle every time so this is what you want so i'm gonna save after this so for example here it won't work because i can't say step so you do everything in one motion up 45 degree angle forward once and then we save because we don't want to do the setup again and then you want to do this oh, come on okay i didn't get the flare console but whatever you, you you, you got the point what we did is we just skip the whole level by doing this now we are on top of a texture of a unloaded level or whatever you want to call it so there is a couple of cases i'm going to show i'm going to show you first the timing of a jump because you need to jump at the right time so first you do normal running jump and then if you jump too early that will happen you won't get any quap or whatever and if you jump too late that will happen as well so you need to jump at the right time how do you need how do you know it's the right time you just count steps and when the fourth step sound appear you want to jump so up one two three four up and you get the, the state okay so this is the first part first learn to practice that because this is really what bothers people when they do this so up one two three four up and you get the states every time so this is the first thing also if you that will happen if you keep pressing forward after you jumped so you, you need to go backward otherwise the glitch won't work you need to go backward so to make you go backward instead of forward you need to stop pressing forward at the right time here so this is actually not too easy but this is not too hard this is just a timing thing that you need to get used to so what you do is when you just as soon as she's jump you stop pressing forward and you will get that backward thing so you don't want to keep pressing forward when you jump you just when you jump when she starts jumping you stop pressing forward and you will get this this is the state you want so again we're gonna do the two things up one two three four up 
and then you release immediately. So this is the first thing. The second thing is to immediately press um, right when you trigger the quap. Why? Because if you press right, as you could see, I went out, I went out the wall. I didn't go against the wall. Let me look. If you press right, you will go like this. You will go this direction. And this is important because if you don't press anything, that will happen. Uh, actually, that worked here yeah, because I pressed a bit right. That will happen. She, she will be attracted by the wall, kinda. So you have to be careful about that because if you get attracted by the wall here, right after you started the co-op, you won't be able to glitch up. You want to enter the wall at a specific spot that I'm gonna show you. You want to enter the wall backward here, roughly here, roughly here, yeah. So you want kinda at the corner of the square you want to enter there. If you enter there, the glitch won't the glitch won't work. If you enter here, the glitch will work. Well, not here actually, but closer. So that's why we want to you want to press right when you start when just after you jump because when you will do that, you will you won't get attracted by the wall. Of course, don't do it too much because you don't want to go away because the quap doesn't last for too long. So, this is another thing, and then there is a couple of things. You need to turn at the right time, basically, and you, there is a couple of ways to approaching it. So, I will let you um, be the... I will let you find the best one you want, because there are a couple of ways. Some people go into the wall early i mean they are not waiting to be completely in the corner some people wait to be in the corner to be sure i personally recommend to do it a bit early because if you do it too late if you go into the wall too late that will happen and you won't make it so that's why i don't recommend um doing aiming right at the corner you want to start entering in the corner in the in the wall a bit before the corner because it's a bit safer so there is a risk that you do it too early but with some practice don't worry it won't be too hard this is just about practicing here yeah? once you know this stuff that i'm telling you and you be careful about it your practice will go better and better and you will get it every time up so here oops here didn't work because i i think i pressed too early i pressed right too early Up. And then you can fly a console. So there is two cases. You can arrive here like I just did and fly a console and keep going. Or I'm gonna try to get it, but I'm not sure I will. Okay, I can't get it obviously. was close but actually this generally what I want to show you generally happens when you try to aim at the corner what can happen is that you don't glitch where I where I just landed every time I tried it you will land somewhere else okay whatever so you will land on top of this here you will land here but you will land in the wall on top so what you want to do when that happens, you want to press roll so you get pushed out the wall and then you can fly a console when you land and keep going. So for some reason I can't get it because obviously when I want to show something it doesn't work. <laughs> but sometimes it will happen, don't worry, just press roll and you will get, you will be able to fall down here and you can fly a console. So... That's basically it, so I'm going to repeat everything one more time. Just up, one, two, three, four, press right, and then enter the wall a bit before 
uh, the corner and you will be able to keep going. So there is a couple of things that I just said that you need to avoid and etc. Just practice, don't worry, it looks really tricky. But once you will know what to do, once you know all those things, it becomes easier. So hop, one, two, three, four, press right, I'm at the corner, up, flare cancel, and keep going. So don't worry, I'm getting it every time, but don't worry, when when you start, you you especially here when she's backing, when she's going back. The speed of Lara will be a bit weird to you because you're not used to that. So you will go too much left or directly to the wall or too much right or whatever. Or directly to the slope. But trust me, with some practice it goes better and it's actually not that bad. So I'm going to do a whole thing one time to show you. So up, as so I step right, roll, two step back, up, jump forward. 45 degree crouch, forward once, up, one, two, three, four, up, press right, turn left at the right time. Yeah, that, that's what I wanted to show you earlier. So if that happens, you will glitch up, press roll, undo the flag console and keep going. So that's basically for the quap. I don't think I missed anything. If it's still not working, you can obviously ask me or in the Tomb Raider uh, Discord, but that's basically it. That's basically all I know, actually. So we're gonna get save there. So once you flare console, you will be in this camera. And what you wanna do is you wanna sprint. You wanna sprint over here and grab. You can avoid that, but this is just small optimization, but this won't cost anything trying what I'm gonna try to show you. And you might get it at some point, so it will be good. So what you want to do is you want to try to do um, a stair bug. So you want to try to do uh, something like this to avoid climbing manually. So as you can see, this this doesn't cost this cost nothing to try because even if you get down here, you can still climb here. So don't worry, you, you won't lose any time trying. So here, for example, uh, just give me a second. Yeah, that's all I thought. So just be careful when you are down here. You don't you don't want to climb pressing jump because you won't make it. You want to press action and forward and you will make it. So this is one of those places where action and forward works, but not jump. And obviously, if you are um, if you're on top of this, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. So this is a bit tricky because you are sprinting, but if you if you practice it right, you might be able to get it at some point. But don't worry, this is this is this saves one or two seconds max. So oops, don't worry about that. So for example, here if you're in this position, it will work maybe. Yeah, it will work. So you need to know about those position, but don't worry, we will come to. Uh, to this kind of glitch later, so here it won't work. I'm not gonna enter too much detail into those glitches, those stair bugs, because um, stair bugs are not really important in Tomb Raider 3, and this one doesn't matter too much. So if you have, a st I don't remember actually if you have a stair bug later, but whatever. If there is a stair bug later that is really important, I'm gonna show you. But basically, what you want to do is you want to make sure, make sure that um, Lara arrive almost between the bottom and the top uh, stair like this and once it's done there is two cases either she's up or down if she's up you just go left she will do this and come back right like i just did or if she's done you just press forward and right and it will work every time uh, not like this maybe no if she's down like this just press right a bit and you will glitch up so this is how it works this is a basic and then it's just practice wherever you, you go for example here it will work but whatever you, you climb and you do here so important thing here is to do a perpetual flare console because you should have one flare remaining if you followed me so one thing you need to know is that 
you need to be sure that you're able to rise up when you do a perpetual flag console and you're crouching uh, i mean crouching under a platform when you're crouching in a small space like i just do because for example if i try to perpetual flag console here she will get in this state here when she tries she is perpetuating flag console as you can see with her left hand but she can't get up because of a low ceiling and because of that this is rip run because you can't move anymore as you can see i'm trying to move and nothing works because she's in a you know a perpetual flag console position but she can't get up so it means lara is broken and this is rip so you need to make sure that you're far enough to do it so it's pretty easy for this place actually because you just need to count two a uh, crouching song i'm gonna show you up one two and now you can get up every time and make it and don't worry it will work every time you you do two crouch song two crouch sound sorry not song so you climb up as long as you climb up here obviously if you climb up on the very right you will have more distance to travel but one two up and you make you are able to do it and then you want to go here to have one flag console then you just go here jump at the right time so you need to jump roughly here to do another one because if you jump earlier you will get on the slope probably okay that worked here but if you're curving a bit or if your distance or if you're if this is a bit different you can fall on this slope or this slope depending where you are so just be careful about that but what i personally do is i just i start jumping from here from this uh, the start of this style here and then it works every time Up. and you make it and you just sprint to this area we're gonna finish the level with a jump so you just go here sidestep until you are in this corner and then you we're gonna do a jump so simple jump you, what you want to do is you want to aim at the right place because this is the only place you can grab so what you do is you want to aim with a per, with a specific position but before placing for example if you're coming here and you do your sidestep there is a chance that you're not your position is not far enough so what you do one just after you did your sidestep you press you walk forward once and she will have this animation like it just happened up like this and that's that helps you having this jump being way more lenient in terms of a uh, of young girl so up forward she will have this she won't have it every time if you're landing at the right position like this she won't have it as you can see but if you need to sidestep generally she will have it so when you need to sidestep up I'm too close here up if you have to sidestep just do it and you will be able to do it so what's the lineup what i personally use is if you watch um between lara's uh leg there is this um vertical horizontal vertical <laughs> sorry there is this vertical uh line which is making the with yeah there is this vit vertical black line this is what we want to look for what i personally do is um i'm personally aiming at um it's hard to describe because my english is poor but that's basically roughly how it is you you just want just ah one two three you make sure as lara's bread is almost uh line up with this vertical line that's not exactly what uh, my visual point is but i realize that is a thing i will put you a screen with the texture i exactly know where it is i'm gonna put it in the description 
because the problem with uh, Tomb Raider 3 is that it doesn't capture my uh, cursor for some reason, so I can't show you exactly with my mouse right now. But um, basically, that's how I do. I just line up like this. So if it's lined up like this, it will work. So just if you have another reference point for yourself, take it. It's it's okay. A bit more left works. A bit more right works too. Uh, actually. A bit more right, I'm not sure, but a bit more left, it's sure that it works, it still works. So what I personally have is that reference point, and then you just step back, undo your jump. So, to summarize, you just up, sidestep, walk forward once, and just aim like this, here. And you can just step back, and do the jump, and you grab immediately, and you will make it. So this is... This is not too hard. Once you know about that um, that trick uh, where you need to sidestep, where you need to walk forward, sorry, this will make it way more lenient. I, I had a lot of issues with it. And once I knew that, I literally uh, couldn't miss it anymore. So that's something you need to know to make it way easier. Because it's way more precise to line up if you just um, if you don't do that for some reason. So yeah, you just line up like this, step back, do your jump, and uh, once you grab here, you don't press forward, you press the crouch button, because the crouch button will make you save roughly half seconds, maybe a bit less because she won't have her standing up animation she will only have a crouch animation and it will be a bit faster so that's it for nevada uh so as you could see this is not a really hard level once you will practice you will see that it's actually pretty easy if you just take your time and just play safe so yeah that's pretty much it Thanks a lot for watching. Next level is gonna be uh, Ice Creek Compound, which is gonna be really long and really hard, you will see. And yeah, if you have any questions, just ask him in the commentary section or in Tomb Raider Discord. And yeah, see you next time.